Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Haltech Q&A. In today's episode, we'll be answering questions from the YouTube channel. Now, the first question comes from Ben Ward, and he asks, does the IQ3 dash have an odometer? What does it display? Well, the IQ3 display dash is supplied with a terminated harness, so it plugs directly into the back and then into your Platinum or Elite Series ECU. Now, it'll display all the information that's coming into your engine management system, which might be RPM, speed, uh, pressures, temperatures, uh, and it does have an odometer and a trip meter, as well as it's backlit, so you can see it at night. Today's next question comes from Outlander330, and he asks, I'm coming from the carbureted world and want to start using fuel injection. What are the advantages of EFI? Well, converting to fuel injection from a carbureted system allows you to tune off a variety of different sensors so that the engine tune is always changing according to what the engine wants. So as the temperature, air temperature, coolant temperature, manifold pressure changes, the tune will change accordingly. Likewise, we can do some closed loop systems. So as the boost pressure changes or as the idle control changes, we can change the signals that we're putting out so that the engine is always targeting the right idle speed or the right boost pressure. Uh, one of the most important things is the O2 control systems so that we're looking at the oxygen sensors in the exhaust and we're continuously changing the tune to make sure that you're always making the right power and you're always getting the best fuel economy as well as emissions. And our last question today comes from Harry C. I have a 1995 RV being converted to a lab running LPG and petrol. I'm after an ECU that will help me achieve better performance but also improve fuel economy. What would you recommend? Well, Harry, the series of ECU that we're after, we'd have for you is the Platinum Sport Series. So this unit actually has dual mapping of the fuel, ignition, and boost control. So you'd have a switch on the dash that would be changing from petrol to LPG. Now that switch would also do your dual mapping in the ECU so that it would change your ignition map to make the best power on gas as well as making the best power on petrol. It'll also turn your injectors on or off depending on which fuel you're in as well as changing your target boost level depending on ethanol or petrol. Well, there are the questions from YouTube today. Uh, if you've got any questions, don't forget to either send them in an email, ask our YouTube channel, or jump on Facebook. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.